Okay. Hey, Scorpio. So I'll be doing your reading for the month of May. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, yeah. Uh, switch the roles as they apply to you. And I'll be using my giant deck of index cards. I'll also be using my Allure of Clarity Oracle deck. Uh, this is also combined with my Neon Lights Oracle deck. Uh, I'll put the, where you can find those in the description below. I separated my uh, index card deck into two uh, because it's so big and I alternate between each. Also, if you hear any cars or any noise like or anything like that, it's because I have my door open. And I'll, if you see smoke, I also have an incident going. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, messages for Scorpio for the month of May. Messages for Scorpio for the month of May. Messages for Scorpio for the month of May. All right, let's see. Okay, not to be played with. So evidently, I'm assuming that's your energy right off the bat. All right, you do not need permission from anyone to be you. So I feel like you're operating in very high vibrational energy. We have beware. And we also have karmic justice. So I'm feeling like you are like dealing with some situation where somebody tried to play you, but they didn't know who, who they were messing with. No spirit said, say they didn't know who they were fucking with. Yeah, that's what I get. Uh-huh. Okay, we have tea. So somebody's a name that could be significant to somebody's name. You could be drinking tea right now as you're watching this. We have DM. So this could be pertaining to your divine masculine or some counterpart like that. Uh, we have cat dog. So, and I just get the message that your cat dog could be sitting right beside you. You could have, uh, or you could like the cartoon cat dog. Something pertaining to animals. Or you can feel like this divine masculine is a damn dog. Okay, we have street pharmacists here. Okay, uh, we have hate. We have speak life into others, not your insecurities. And we have CNA nurse. Okay, so somebody could, oh, somebody could have a uh, addiction to like uh, pills. That's what I get off right off the bat. That could be why you got away from this person. This person is probably very hateful. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So there's probably definitely some truth to this. This person is probably very hateful and low vibrational energy. Uh, we also have, like I said, we have speak life into other ones, others. So this person is possibly very insecure. I'm getting narcissistic vibes. Also with the CNA nurse here, you could be a CNA or nurse. I have a spiritual jail. I have stand up. I have crazy about you. I have single. So you're newly single. You got away from this energy. That's what I'm getting. And now this person is chasing you, possibly, because you removed yourself from this energy. This person is possibly now chasing you. This person could also feel bound mentally. This I think I get the feeling dealing with this person is very exhausting. Like exhausting. This person is very cryptic with this cryptocurrency here. Maybe they doing something sneaky when it pertains to money. We also have a wise man knows that he knows nothing. And we have intellectual property. So somebody could also be stealing your intellectual property in a cryptic way. They don't know what they're doing though, because they don't know what they're to do with the information that they're getting. I feel like this person is also very egotistical, not humble at all. But I'm feeling like you're going to get justice for this. 
I'm also music is coming to my head. So somebody could be stealing something like that. Okay, we have surprise. And that's on top of into uh karmic justice. Yeah, we have set up your boundaries. And we have PTSD. Yeah, this situation can be stressing you out a lot. Spirit is telling you that you need to set up your boundaries, check your boundaries, set healthy boundaries for yourself and for other people. Uh -huh. We have moon magic. So somebody could have been doing some kind of magic or somebody could just be sending out negative energy. Like every time they see you doing something, they see really hoping it fail. Like that ain't going to work. Why they steal. That ain't going to work, but shit, I'm going to try it. Freaking... Okay, then we have, yeah, it be your own people. Spirit's telling you, people ain't shit, man. Everybody getting exposed. This is exposing season. Gemini season? Yeah, it's Gemini season. Uh-huh. People getting exposed. We are chosen one. So because you are divine and you are good at whatever it is that you're doing, these people are trying to steal from you. Yeah, smelling like a rose. That came out, I think this is the third re reading that came out in now. And we have long hair. So hair could be significant. You could have long hair or something like that. But evidently, somebody's jealous of you, period. Because you run around here. I get the I, the song that just come to my uh, mind is, um, was that Caroline by Outkast? Yeah. Somebody think that you think your shit don't stink. Shit. You might fuck around and be messing with Dr. Sebi, so your poo might not be being found. I'm just saying. Shit. All right, so we got Spirit Has Your Back. Yeah. Spirit has your back in this situation. We also have extra. So you extra protected. We have somebody is being judgy. So somebody is sitting back judging and watching everything you do. And we have silver tongue persuasive. Somebody is also trying to be, uh, trying to probably manipulate you out of doing something. That's the message that I get. All right, this could be a family member, a cousin, possibly. We also have green light. Oh, yeah, we have green light here. Green Lancer just came to my mind, so you could like DC. We also have reactionary abuse. So, yeah, that's another thing. And that's a common tactic that narcissists use. Like, they do things to you or trigger you or, you know, in some kind of way. And they banking on you responding or they banking on you standing up for yourself or something like that. Yeah. We have teachers. So you could be a teacher. I'm getting healer too. Definitely thinking I just said something about Dr. Savy. So you could do something with herbs or healing like that. Yeah. You could also, uh, this could be a career of yours. This could be how you make money. And we have op. So maybe that's why they mad is because you are making money. And somebody is watching you, the opposition. Yeah. Yeah. And definitely with this cryptocurrency here, like they maybe somebody tried to trying to manipulate you out of some kind of money or or something like that. I don't know. Let's pull a couple more and I'm gonna get your advice from the Oracle. Yeah. There we go. They mad because you winning. Like I said. They think you think your shit don't stink. Shit, tell them motherfuckers it don't stink. I'm sorry, all the cussing. That's that's. I'm just channeling your energy. Yeah, let's get you some advice. And right on. This is turned over, and breathe. So maybe you might need to also practice like meditation. I'm getting, and this is somebody. This is a message from somebody. I don't know whoever put this energy out there, but I'm getting. Breathe before you have to smack shit out of somebody. So somebody is really tired of somebody's BS. Yeah. So. I think that's definitely Scorpio energy. Uh, We have goddess counsel. Yeah. 
So you are the chosen one that goes also with chosen one. And that spirit trying to let you know that you are connected to a divine council. Definitely if you are out here teaching, like you are operating in your uh, north node. Yeah, we have release. So release that which does not serve you. Also, uh, uh, you could have a significant connection with animals. Definitely with this peacock feather here. Mm. Yeah, just let them. I get the uh, let the cards fall where they may. Yeah, media. You can do something online timeless so you could also with this timeless and online you could be a reader or you could be watching readings yeah intuitive you can have some kind of intuitive gifts also six up here you could be a light path six or a light path nine 96 could be significant you could have been born in 96 i don't know if you could see that that nine and that six yeah mm-hmm I also get Fibonacci sequence. I don't know. Maybe you're looking into that. And then we have chemist. So you could also be into chemistry. But also that's my spell work card. But yeah. So. Just keep doing what you're doing. They just mad. And that's all that is. You know. They can't do nothing to you. That's the message I get. Shit. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. And uh, I hope you have a blessed day. And yeah, just keep pushing forward. All right. Bye, Scorpio.